Hey everybody, I'm working here in Adobe Animate. Uh, some of you may remember it as being called Flash years ago. I used to actually do a lot of my line work in Animate because there's a way of working in this application that allows you to sort of sculpt with line work. And I just wanted to show you that quickly today because I think it's a feature a lot of people just aren't really aware exists. Let me show you what I mean. I've just done this drawing here with the brush tool, I'm highlighting it right now. And it's important that when you're going to draw with the brush tool, you remember that you can enable pressure. So I've got that enabled right here. That allows me to make a thin line, a fat line, all based on the pressure that I'm using with my stylus. And I can, of course, zoom in infinitely uh, because we're in a vector environment, which is really fun. But what's really neat is you can sculpt and edit your lines by using the move tool. I like Adobe Illustrator, but uh, one of the things that slows me down is that all of the anchor points and paths are exposed and I'm having to fiddle with that to try and understand how to adjust things. And the way it works in Animate is a lot more organic. What that means is I can take any line and just pull it like so. And then I can sculpt it by pulling up or down or after the side. And this is extremely powerful because what it allows me to do is if I want, for example, this transition from the neck into the the jaw to be closer to the ear, I can simply take this area and just pull it out that way and make that connection. Or maybe I want this eyebrow to be a little, little bigger here, a little thicker. Well, I can simply drag this out, then drag this down to meet it, like so, and then adjust that curve. So you literally are sculpting your line work. And you're not having to be aware of the fact that while you're doing this, of course, you are modifying paths, right? Vector paths. It all just happens in a very organic way that artists can understand very quickly and easily. So you're getting all the benefits of drawing with vectors, but not having to deal with the underlying architecture. The, the thing I used to always do is simply take the artwork I've drawn, select it, copy it, and then just paste it into a Photoshop document at whatever size I want. Because again, it's vectors, so you can make it as big or small as you like, and then add my color in there. Uh, so this was just a, a handy thing for me when I was doing inking and I had to bust out a lot of drawings really fast. I do want to quickly point out something else you can do that I find insanely powerful, which is the ability to just select an area of your drawing, even a single line, and smooth it out very quickly. So I'll take my lasso tool, for example, and just select this part of the hair right here. And if I go back to my move tool, there's an option that presents itself here at the bottom right. You'll see it here. It says smooth. If I just tap on that, you'll see that it smoothed out this area right here. Okay, I'll do that one more time. So here we are. Smooth it. I'll, I'll hit it a couple of times so you can see what's happening. So Animate is basically re-sculpting that line. And what it's doing in the background is it's actually removing uh, anchor points. It's trying to create a much more smooth transition from the beginning of the line to the end of the line with fewer points. I really wanted to point this out. Here's another example. See these little bumpy bits right here? I don't want those anymore. I'll use my lasso tool, select that section, go back to my move tool, and here's my smoothing, and watch them all go away, just like that. It's kind of magical, to be honest. Another fun thing you can do is you can select your whole drawing and just see what does Animate think will happen and when you smooth it out. And usually if I just give it one single tap, like I've just done there, it does some really nice editing with your line work and just kind of makes all the lines a little bit more smooth, a little bit more crisp, uh, makes your transitions a little better. Let me just go back a step so you can see the difference. Here's where we were, okay? And I'm just going to tap that one more time. I'm going to tap it now. And there's that little change. I'll tap it one more time. You'll see quite a noticeable difference. And uh, just for fun, what I'll do is I'll copy this. I'll just slide that over here to the left, and then I'm going to paste the new one so you have a little side-by-side -side comparison. And I want you to see how nice that smoothed up line work is on the right. It really looks sharp, and Animate just has this fantastic setting to smooth things out in a way that I find pleasing to the eye. So give that a try as well. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking this out. I think this is really a powerful, powerful feature an organic way to sculpt and edit your line work without having to actually draw. This is something I haven't seen anywhere else. I've been enjoying it for years and I think more people need to play with it. See you next time.